Saturday, can you hold them under 60? 50 is going to be our goal. 50. We're going to hold. We're holding loose under 50. That's a big headline. Quote. <laughs> Welcome to the insane story on why you never trash talk Luka Doncic. This story is told by NBA players and legends. And just like Larry Bird, who Luka is compared to all the time, you can never trash talk the greatest players in the league. It backfires, especially when they can trash talk back. And this story shows that. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, they take me a long time to edit and produce. And it would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button to show your support. If we could hit 3,000 likes on this video, that would be absolutely incredible. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new and you enjoy these types of videos. And all the footage used in this video is on the screen right now and in the description box down below. So be sure to check them out in their entireties. And I don't want to keep you waiting, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. They've been playing basketball in the NBA for more than 75 years more than three quarters of a century. And tonight, what Luka Doncic gave us has never been seen before in the league. Yeah, statistically, from the eye test, Luka Magic was truly on display to a level we have never seen. Can we talk about Luka Doncic real quick? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. Man, bro, you know me, I'm the biggest Luka Doncic fan. Coming, yeah, coming off a, a 60-20-10 triple-double, when he pulled up a transition for three, I'm like, oh, he having one of those nights. And you already have Barrett out for the game. Yes, right index finger, laceration, bang, Luca for three. But I also seen him make a crazy pass with his right hand. He'll like act like he's laying up and then he can still yeah. pass with his right. He hit the corner pass. It's the late pass to the corner and to the wing or whatever, where the hell he wants to throw it to. To cut him off and be able to get to that corner. You know, it's exciting basketball to watch, especially when he gets going. A comfortable spot for his skill set. Rose just turned it over, and the quarter ends with Luka knifing through the entire Knicks defense to score. Damian Lillard, Tyler Hero, Buddy Heel topped that list with Tim and Luka fourth and fifth. Oh, give it go! Go at him. Yeah, New York's got the lead back to eight, and here is Randall, and he's out there with three fouls, and so Luka goes at him, and they score. Like Luka, like the stuff that Luka do on the court. It's just his angle, his footwork, right. his fundamentals. Right. Like, always come back to that. Play together too, and that was a big part of that eight-game winning streak for them. Here's Luca working against Grimes. Pump fake. Does he get the shot to go? Hey! Hey! Miss. That one Luca don't really got no bag. Oh. What? <laughs> okay, gay. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Really got no bag. <laughs> What are we saying is the bag? Okay, so oh my yeah, God, like, God, bro. <laughs> what is the bag? Luca don't got Luca ain't coming down. You don't score boom, boom, 60. Boom. I got a bag. Whoa, 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 Stop right now. <laughs> Stop right now, bro. I just watched Luca every time he had the ball in his he, he would do a bing bing bing. He has like a right to left, left to right cadence, and it's mm -hmm. all to set up the right to left to get to the step back. Yeah. And so I'm watching guys, how they're guarding him and how he's shifting to get back to that left step yeah. back. Yeah. When yeah. Luca had the 60 point triple double, were you kind of like glancing up, seeing no. it like on the boards? You didn't even know until nah, after? Nah, because we were getting smoked. No, we were getting, we were getting lit up. So you're not Slow even, because you don't want to see what the score looks no. like. You just know we're getting smacked yeah, right now. we were getting smacked. We, we had like, like nine points in like, Two seconds. With just over three minutes to go against hey, Detroit. Come on. And one and overtime. Off at seven. Luca. Here's a quick score from Luca. So Luca giving the ball up to Hardaway. Luca with the rebound. Puts it in. And it's a foul. What shocks me about this game. And that drew rim. It's still loose. Luca got it back. An improbable comeback. Like nine points in like two seconds to even get to overtime. Well, yeah, right, Ridiculous. right, right, right. I remember that. That was a record in itself, wasn't it? Like yeah. that never been done before. Yeah. yeah, like it was. Yeah, no. Luca got to have 50 at the time, right? I don't know how much he scored in overtime, but he's got to have 50, 52, something like that. Going crazy. 
we actually tie the game. We get to overtime. Overtime was needed. A minute and eight left. Mavs up three. Doncic. Make it 58 with this jumper. Up five is Dallas. Under 40 to play. Julius Randle will foul Doncic. He makes the first free throw. 59. The second free throw brings him to 60. The Mavs would win. Final score, 126-101. We love Luca on this show. We like to joke, or I do, that he's got some Negro tendencies. It For seems sure. like he's really developing his blackness. He's, hey. he's new wave light-skinned, is that? God damn! God damn! Like that, that's still, that, yeah. that gotta that's be black. up there. That gotta be up there. Okay. Have you heard hey, Luca say finna? Has Lucas said finish. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. He I've, heard, I've, heard him say, I've heard him say cap. Oh, okay. okay. I'm not going to lie to you. He got the car, maybe. He, nah, he, he got his black car for sure, bro. He just, the, the, the swag he played with is crazy. I would have said it. <laughs> Luca got it in him, you feel me? He got a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you talk shit in practice. It's funny. We laugh. We talk shit when we play cards. It's funny. We laugh. But I do feel like at times people test you. I love when he gets talking, too. I love Luca. I love Luca's pace. I love Luca's maturity. You see his maturity. You see how he's been playing with older men or older people yes. in this life. You yes. see it. He's not afraid of anything in the league. He goes at he goes at some of the best defenders the same way and makes them look like they're not that great of defenders. He has a pace. You can't speed him up. And he's figured out the league. I heard Larry Bird come in. I heard Larry Bird say, I heard an a, a old school, um, take on Larry Bird. And it was the same rap I had once I got out of college, I came to the pros and, well, well how's he going to do? You know, he won't be able to get his jump shot off in the pros or he won't be quick enough or he won't be able to rebound. And I think it took me probably three days after a, a rookie camp. I, I found out, hey, this league is nothing. I can play in this league and I will dominate in this league. What told you in those three days you could do it? Because I was doing it in practice against uh, some great players. And I know everybody never always thought, well, practice, you know, if you're doing practice, you got to do it in the game. Well, if I can do it when nobody's in the, in the bleachers watching me, I can do it when there's a lot of people in there. But he said something that made me think of Luca. Larry Bird said, man, not only did I think I can play in this league, hmm. I knew I could dominate. Mm. Off of just my past and what I've been through, I've been through. They went to college, getting double, triple team this year. He got in the league. They was playing one on one with him. So he was thinking, when I watch Luca play, he comes from that experience. But Larry's had something that most oh, white man. boys don't have. Nah, just man. say that. Just keep it real. Man, yeah, Larry, 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 Larry was different now. Larry was different now. He had a little bit of nigga. Yeah, yeah, he was different now. He was different now. Larry was different now. That boy. <laughs> He can play, man. Luca, one of Larry Bird's old teammates, Cedric Maxwell, has been calling you Larry Bird reincarnated. And your coach, who also was a teammate of Larry Bird, told us this morning that he does see the resemblance. Have you looked at old film of Larry Bird? Do you see the similarities yourself? I mean, yeah, I looked at it. I looked, uh, I, I saw a lot of films, how he, how he played, but you know, you can't compare me to Larry Bird. Larry Bird got the ball on Rodney Rogers, and every time he was about to make a move, he told him what he was going to do. He's the, hey, listen, man. LD got game, bro. Like, he, he I think the the best part is when he starts calling out what he's going to do. No way. It takes, it takes, like, you got to be really nice to do that. Like, like that's some Larry Bird shit. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to go down, I'm going to post up one leg thing. <laughs> one dribble, pull up, going left, off glass, bucket. Like, yeah, watch what I do to him. <laughs> <laughs> One dribble going right, spin, shot, bucket. You gotta be really nice to do that. Is he telling a defender this or are he telling you like, look what I'm gonna do to this man? Here's the thing though, if I'm sitting right here and he's like, Spence, Look what I'm about to do. More just, about and I'm just standing right, right here. Right. He just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. kind of sort of being polite. Right, right, right. Not that's, to start a fight. I think that's more fucked that's up more when y'all are having a combo yeah. about me and I'm not even involved in right it. Right there, like you ain't there. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can hear y'all, nice Luca. Stuff. He been talking. <laughs> he been talking. Ooh, yeah. no. So has his shit talk evolved? Has he learned more of the English language? Luca loves that. He yeah. loves that competitiveness. He loves when people talk trash. That boils, like, it boils something inside of him. The that, yeah, the, that this lights that fire under him that makes him want to go. I've never seen you back down from that. Like there's always, there's always a response, a rebuttal, whether it's verbally or with a play. Where does that sort of come from? Where does that toughness come from? I just think I'm competitive in everything. You know, I just want to win. And you know, it's, 
if somebody tries to get me going, it gets me going too, you know. So I, I think it's, um, you know, I think it for me, I think it's great for basketball. Yeah, so to be honest. it's fun to watch. <clears throat> it's fun to watch. Yeah. Saturday, can you hold them under 60? 50 is going to be our goal. 50. We're going to hold, we're holding Luke under 50. That's a big headline. Quote. <laughs> score inside for Yaka Pirtle and a score from the elbow for Luca. Don't make yourself easy to defend against a bad defensive team. Elbow. A three ball for Luca and it's contested by Pirtle, but it don't matter. Passing Luca, Luca spins away from Langford and he's fouled as he scores. Jeremy Sohan, hello, Wenda. Just his shot, you gotta own it. Luca answers right back. Matt Collins, the defender for San Antonio. Last year, it was tough reading. Luca operating when you don't execute them, they're frustrating. Mavericks do not have, as Luca hits a big time three coming out of the timeout. Luca on the pick and roll, driving, scoring to extend it to a three point lead. Pick and roll involving Lu Lu Luca and Wood, and Luca scores again. He's up to 49. Dallas 124, San Antonio 123. Tonight's Luca Doncic has 50 points. Luka, 51 points, five boards, nine assists, and he hit it off the rim and rebounds it, and the game is over. It's all over. It's all over. So holding him under 50, is that, 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 was, that the guarantee? We're holding Luke under 50. That's a big headline. Quote. <laughs> well, I said that, didn't I? <laughs> Unbelievable, this guy. Uh, yeah, he's something else. He's... Pop saying we want to hold him under 50, and he gets 51 in a one-point win. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just silly. What's it like getting to watch you know, Luca do Luca things? I think it's different, like, watching while you're on the floor with him than watching on the like sitting down interesting so watching playing you think it's going in every time you like you know when he's doing a step back on the left wing or when he's posting up doing his dirt fade away getting to the basket all that stuff i think all his shots are going in every time but like when you're on the court like you can't really like focus in on that because you gotta like get back on defense you gotta like you're like oh no i gotta get this stop blah, 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 whatever set screens roll for him you know move around make sure you're in the right spot at the right time like you're not really keying in or locked in on what you're doing but last year when i sat out i'm like damn this everything looks like it's like it looks like his shot is going in every time especially when he gets on that roll yeah and he starts to cook and he starts getting to the line and he starts driving to the basket and then and the score is climbing you know it's exciting basketball to watch especially when he gets going do you ever just start laughing like you know when he's doing it it's like you're trying to be serious oh no nah, when when he gets to cooking and we get a lead yeah i start laughing <laughs> <laughs> like because because you start i mean look it's inevitable man yeah. if a dude's going for like 40 then 50 you know what i'm saying you naturally start to kind of watch the game. Like, it just is what it is. You know, we all we all talk about it. I mean, you look at him, and if you walked in the room, you, you know, you wouldn't say, no, he's not. He's, he's uh, just a beautiful basketball player. He's like the prototype for, you know, high basketball IQ and high skill level, uh, all rolled into one guy. And he's, he's very special, very special. If you've ever played any team sport or been in any like office setting, anything, there's always one person who has that quiet confidence that you look to mm -hmm. when shit goes south. And it's like, well, if we got them, we're okay. Who is that for you? Luca. Yeah? Luca. It's yeah. just like, okay, he's got it. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, never afraid of any moment. Never going to back down. There's no agenda other than trying to win the moment. Right. And thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please help me out by hitting that like button. Subscribe if you are new for more videos just like this one. Hit that notification button so you are up to date when a new video releases. And here are two new videos I think you will also enjoy. So be sure to check them out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.